composting like you've never seen before. If you've ever looked at your compost pile and thought, it's just rotting scraps, what's the big deal? Think again, composting is one of the most powerful natural ways to transform everyday waste into pure soil magic. It's the difference between an average garden and one that bursts with health, color, and vitality. Here on Soil Power, we don't just talk dirt, we build it. And today, we're revealing a few composting secrets that even seasoned gardeners overlook. Forget the usual grass clippings and kitchen peelings. We're diving deep into seven surprising materials that can turn your compost from good to incredible. And yes, they include hair, cardboard, and wine corks. There's no better time to start composting than in the fall. As the garden slows down, nature gifts us with the perfect blend of carbon-rich browns, dried leaves, cardboard, straw, and nitrogen-rich greens, food scraps, coffee grounds, and garden trimmings. Unlike summer composting, which happens fast and hot, autumn composting is like a slow cooker for your soil. It breaks down gently through the winter, creating humus so rich and loose that your plants will thank you all spring. The key. Balance. A great compost pile isn't just a heap of scraps, it's a living system that needs the right mix of greens, which means nitrogen, and browns, meaning carbon. That's where today's secret ingredients come in. If you're like me, you start your day with a cup of coffee or tea, but do you know that what's left behind in your mug is a compost supercharger? Used coffee grounds are rich in nitrogen, one of the most important elements for microbial activity in compost. Think of it as high-octane fuel for your soil's tiny workers. When you mix coffee grounds into your compost, you feed beneficial bacteria and fungi that drive the breakdown of organic matter. They also help keep your pile aerated, preventing that dreaded sour smell. Tea leaves work similarly, though there's one caution, avoid synthetic tea bags. Many brands use microplastics to seal their bags, which never decompose. The best approach is to tear the bag and toss in just the leaves, or better yet, use loose leaf tea. Add your coffee and tea waste, little by little, and you'll be feeding your compost microbes a steady breakfast all season long. Yes, you read that right. Human and pet hair might just be one of the most underrated compost materials out there. Hair is made of keratin, a tough protein rich in nitrogen. But here's the real secret. It breaks down slowly, making it perfect for autumn composting. As the pile sits over winter, the hair decomposes at a steady pace, releasing nutrients gradually like a natural slow-release fertilizer. Every time you clean your brush or groom your dog, save that hair instead of tossing it out. Add it to your compost, and you'll create a nutrient reserve that keeps feeding your pile all winter long. Just remember to mix it in well with other materials so it doesn't clump together. This little trick gives your soil a boost that lasts long after the snow melts. Compost isn't just about chemistry, it's also about structure, and honestly, nothing provides that better than plain, uncoated cardboard. Those egg cartons, toilet paper rolls, and unprinted boxes you usually throw away, they're compost gold. Cardboard adds carbon and prevents your pile from turning into a dense, soggy mess. When shredded and mixed in, it acts as a natural spacer, allowing air to flow and microbes to breathe. For best results, tear your cardboard into small pieces before adding it. The smaller the pieces, the faster they decompose. Think of it as building a scaffold inside your compost, one that keeps everything light, breathable, and active. Next time you're about to toss a box, stop and think. That's not trash, that's soil architecture in disguise. We all have that dusty jar of cinnamon or turmeric hiding in the back of the pantry. Maybe it's years old, long past its culinary prime but don't throw it away, toss it into your compost instead. Even expired spices are full of organic compounds and trace minerals that feed soil microbes. Better yet, many have antifungal and antibacterial properties. Cinnamon helps prevent mold, while chili powder keeps rodents and pests from sniffing around your compost bin. You don't need much, just a sprinkle here and there. Old spices not only add variety to your compost but also help balance its microflora, promoting a healthier, more active pile. It's a tiny secret that can make a big difference. Here's one for the wine lovers. Natural corks can do wonders for your compost. Cork breaks down slowly but that's exactly why it's so valuable. 
If you toss a few into your compost, they'll act as mini aerators, keeping the pile from compacting. They create little channels that allow oxygen to reach deep into the compost where microbes are hard at work. If you want to speed things up, cut the corks into smaller pieces, but even whole corks will help absorb excess moisture and release it slowly. It's a simple, elegant way to keep your compost breathing, and it gives those post-dinner corks a new life that benefits your garden. Just make sure they're natural corks, not the synthetic kind. If you're unsure, try snapping one natural cork crumbles while plastic bends. This one surprises almost everyone. Old clothes can actually improve your compost. If you've got worn out cotton socks, shredded linen towels, or a wool sweater the moths got to, don't throw them out. Cut them into small pieces and feed them to your compost. Natural fibers like cotton, wool, linen, and silk are all organic materials, just like leaves or grass. They're simply processed differently. They add valuable carbon to your pile, balance moisture, and help create a fluffy texture. Just steer clear of synthetics like polyester or nylon which don't break down and can contaminate your soil with microplastics. By giving your natural fabrics a second life in the compost, you're closing the loop, turning worn-out clothes into next season's soil nutrients. Finally, let's talk pumpkins, the ultimate fall symbol. After carving your jack-o'-lantern or making pumpkin soup, don't toss the seeds in stringy pulp. That gooey mess is compost gold. Pumpkins are full of sugars, moisture, and micronutrients that kickstart microbial activity in your pile, much like an ignition switch. They help heat up your compost quickly, speeding the breakdown of tougher materials like cardboard or hair. For best results, chop your pumpkin scraps into smaller pieces to increase the surface area. It's the perfect way to wrap up the composting season, with a natural booster that energizes the entire pile. Now just step back for a moment and imagine the magic at work. The hair releases nitrogen slowly through the winter. The cardboard keeps your compost aerated. The corks breathe oxygen deep into the pile. The old spices, they fine-tune the microflora. Together, all of these things form a living ecosystem, kind of like a slow-motion bioreactor, transforming waste into vibrant, fertile soil. This is composting at its best. Not just a trash heap but a living, breathing process that turns yesterday's leftovers into tomorrow's abundance. When spring arrives, your compost won't just feed your plants, it's going to revive your soil. You'll see richer colors, stronger growth, and honestly, a garden that practically glows with life. So, next time you sweep the floor, open a bottle of wine or clean out your kitchen cabinet, just remember, you're holding the ingredients for the best compost you've ever made. Here at Soil Power, we believe composting isn't just recycling, it's regeneration. It's how we give back to the earth that gives us so much. If this inspired you, don't keep it to yourself. Subscribe to Soil Power, hit that like button and share this article with your fellow gardeners. Let's spread the secret of composting far and wide and turn every bit of waste into life-giving soil. Because really, the real power isn't in the pile. It's in the gardener who knows how to use it.